All right, guys, wanted to bring you all a uh, little update video. I kind of went a little nuts here. Um, wanted to add some fish into the new system. And so I went to my local fish store and they're pretty known for having some fantastic clownfish. They breed their own. So I picked up a black ice, like snowflake clown. And then I picked up a platinum clown. And that's what's going to be in the display system. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other clowns I'm going to be putting in there with the uh, Euphelia and Anemone. But, um, so I picked these guys up today. It was a, it was an investment, let me tell you. But hopefully worth it. The uh, water parameters test out just fine in the tank. So, uh. I'm not worried about putting them in here. They're they're small enough fish, and I'm not feeding the system heavily. That's kind of I was, I was attempting a top-down shot. So uh, I'm gonna introduce these guys. I'm acclimating them to temperature right now, and I gotta find a container to uh, drip acclimate them. Excuse me. The corals are still doing just fine, and I did take a look. Uh, 9, 915 main told me to take a look at my impeller that may be why the uh, skimmer is not performing that well I took it apart there was a little bit of junk in it but it wasn't really bad but when I when I put it all back together it did produce more bubbles but still I'm not getting much of a foam head out of this thing so I'm gonna have to work with it and tweak it a little bit I'm um, just not used to working with this type of skimmer uh, my SMG3 has been a beast, and uh, this one I'm hoping is going to be a beast for me again here. So uh, that's what's going on. I'll give you guys a shot of the fish when I get them in the tank, but they're beauties. Went down and hand selected these guys. I was going to do a uh, black um, snowflake. But the one that they had, the only one that was, you know, with like a pattern that I liked and looked healthy, it was actually a really, really, really small fish, so I didn't want to go down that route. And then the uh, the platinum is what rang my bill up, but I just could not pass on this guy. I mean, he is beautiful. Look at this fish. I mean, he is beautiful. I couldn't pass on it, so I have him. <laughs> I'm gonna probably take the uh, Maxi Jet 900 out of here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it doesn't have a fish guard on it. And I don't want these fish to get sucked up into it. I don't think they'll fall over the overflow, but I'm going to monitor that situation once I put them in here. Um, if it starts looking kind of sketchy, I'll go get some uh, black gutter guard and I'll just super glue it around the top. I really don't care how it looks. I, I don't. I just don't care. So, uh, alright. I'll give you guys a shot when I get these guys in here. All right, so we're getting ready to release these guys. This is the uh, container I found it. This is what I normally use to uh, acclimate corals and fish whenever I actually get fish. But I mean, look at these guys. I'm very satisfied with this. Um, I use this uh, little tray because it's shallow and it doesn't tip over or anything like that so I can keep them temperature acclimated while I drip acclimate them. So I'm gonna do, it's been unseasonably rainy right now, actually. I'm gonna dump the majority of this water. I'll take these guys in and we'll let them swim on out. swimming out. There we go. Beautiful fish. So we'll let them get used, used to their uh, new environment. I'm going to watch them for a little bit just to make sure that they don't make the uh, overflow at home. 
And the only other fish that is going to be going in here is the uh, powder blue tang and the six line wrasse and cleanup crew. Other than that, that's all I'm going to do for fish in this uh, particular display. Um, the other five clowns that I have are going to be going over there. I've already said it, so I'm not going to beat on it more. Man, those guys are beautiful. Beautiful clowns. The, the platinum is definitely by far my favorite, but that black ice, that's something else. Beautiful fish. I'm excited about them. I've never had designer clownfish before, and I really wanted to do something special in this, in this display. So once we get lights over this tank, we'll really be able to uh, kind of showcase these guys. Oh, well, I turned my white lights off. They're on the light switch. And now we can... No, that didn't help at all. Anyways, there they are. They'll make this, uh, they'll be calling this tank home. Alright, later on guys. Thanks for watching. That's going to be it for this weekend though.